Police are still looking for clues regarding the deadly gangland shooting on Hamilton Road near Rectory this past Monday night. Investigators say that suspected Purple Demon gang leader Derek McLean was murdered in cold blood over a bag containing an undisclosed amount of money. Witnesses say a man wearing a black hoodie and white ski mask committed the murder. This is the second gangland shooting this year, following fellow Purple Demon member Lee Scott's grisly murder in January. Sources say that a number of Purple Demons currently incarcerated at Millhaven Penitentiary have incited a riot since the murder last Monday. Ray Hughes, recently released from Millhaven, has a history of violence spanning back to 2001, when his first arrest had him doing 16 months at San Jose Juvenile Detention Center. We publicly issued an arrest warrant today for Ray Hughes. Hughes is known for his gang affiliation and violent past, and is now the last surviving high-ranking member of the Purple Demons in Canada. We strongly urge the shooter to turn himself in. We want the suspect alive. Hughes does not. His most recent time spent in federal supervision ended just four months ago. Hughes was indicted with Bobby and Rowdy of the Rebel Brothers for the attempted murder of a Supreme Court judge. The victim, Derek McLean, has been under police investigation since 2016 due to his alleged role in Ralph's Pub Massacre, which McLean, along with members of the Purple Demons and members of the Hong Kong-based gang Rhino Skulls, collaborated in the killing of nine mafiosa. The case was famously thrown over a technicality, and McLean has been head of the Purple Demons until his death last Monday. We fear there is a chance that gang members are currently looking for the suspect. The suspected shooter is still thought to be in southwestern Ontario. Ballistics have confirmed that the gun used in the homicide was a 9mm. I'm talking directly to the suspect right now. You have two options. You can turn yourself in and deal with the police, or you can be systematically hunted by us and the most notorious street gang in Ontario and their justice. It isn't pretty.